Hello everybody, this is Louise Eddington. Oh, I think uh, my volume might be down. Okay, there we go. Cosmic Owl Astrology. I am the Cosmic Owl and I'm making this video broadcast. Um, I normally do these videos for my members. If you'd like to become a member of the Cosmic Owl community and get hoots from the Cosmic Owl all the time, check the uh, link below on YouTube and um or in the comments um wherever you see this and um but then i really wanted to make this one public for you because we are about to enter aries season and the aries ingress as it's called um is when the sun hits zero aries which is the world axis and and it's seen by most of astrologers as the um, the new year for astrology because it's the first degree of the first sign and the start of the next 12 month period. So we're going to have a quick look at the Aries ingress chart for you. So uh, let me just get that up. Okay, and now I will share. So the um, the equinox itself is actually at 9.50 p.m. The uh, sun actually moves into Aries. So I'm just going to uh, just adjust for that at 9.42 p.m. Okay. Let me update save chart. So here we go. But that shows it's still in Pisces. So let's get back to the um, 9.50. My software can be a little bit off sometimes. But anyway, here's the sun moved into Aries. And we have some big energy shifts coming around this time. Just behind uh, the Aries ingress into uh, the sun Aries, sun ingress into Aries. We also have Saturn moving into um, Aquarius for a, a short while. That's going to be um, in two days time. And we're also going to get Vesta moving into um, Gemini. So we've got a lot of energy shifts coming up, but this chart kind of sets the scene for the whole year. And we do have this out of sign, I'm going to call it, aspect between the sun to Vesta and to Saturn over here. What we also have on the Aries ingress is we have <clears throat> Mars and Jupiter conjunct and they are in sextile access at aspect to Black Moon Lilith in Pisces and a square aspect to Eris. This to me indicates a lot of um, chaos and um, and discord over the next 12 months, I have to say. Um, we do also have um, Uranus at four degrees, still in aspect. Look at how close this is. Uranus is at four degrees and 32 minutes and is still in aspect to the lunar nodes at four degrees and 30 minutes. So only two minutes apart. And, and I kind of believe that triggered the earthquake we had in Utah yesterday and uh, Uranus in Taurus, the financial markets too shaken up. Everything we thought safe really is being shaken up. This Mars Jupiter aspect for the whole year ahead, uh, setting that is a rapid breakdown, I think, of a lot of our institutions and we're seeing it happen already. And I have to say we're having a lot more um, good things I see, though, for the year ahead. <laughs> there are always good things, I have to say. Let me just check I'm not missing any other aspects. I, I kind of like this Saturn um, Vesta trine in Earth signs, though. That's kind of real focus and building and commitment. It's like stay solid, um, pulling your boundaries, which we're having to do anyway with social isolation, of course. That was my dogs chasing my cat. And, and this is the sacred flame. We're being asked to focus on what really matters. 
I'm seeing more and more people, and I've talked about it um, on and off for a long time. Um, we've seen more and more people talk about um, making a food garden, permaculture, things like that. I'm so not a gardener. I really wish I was. Um, I want somebody to come out and dig it for me. <laughs> so I'm going to work on that. We also have Chiron. This is very interesting, I think, in the Aries ingress chart. Chiron is um, seven minutes from an exact sextile with Hygieia over here. Now, Chiron is the shaman. It's the key to healing. Um, Chiron was um, very much a, um, a teacher, healer, herbalist. Again, very kind. He was a kind of ancient type of doctor, if you like, but um, in the more natural kind of way, holistic, let's say. And he's in aspect to Hygieia over here in Gemini, who is around the same position Venus will go retrograde at in uh, May. And, and Hygieia is very much about hygiene, um, health hygiene. In Gemini, that can be about hands, about air, contact. We're being asked to keep distant. Um, I do kind of think we're going, we're, you know, we're going to be discovering some cures and things. I do still think that the Pluto Eris square over the next 18 months, we've got four more exact squares ending in October 2021 is causing the chaos and I think it's going to keep this virus with us for that long time but I kind of think it's going to be in flare-ups and I believe the um, authorities have now said that's kind of how they see it going you know if we all distance ourselves we'll kind of get a lid on it and then there'll be a flare-up here and a flare-up there but we'll kind of know how more how to deal with it it's still going to greatly affect our economy with, you know, Uranus and Taurus, who could have predicted that the, I know people had said we'd go into recession and things, but we're now, you know, the stock markets are down at pre-Trump um, presidency levels and um, people are claiming, you know, there's already been, I think, two over 250,000 in unemployment claims just in the last week or something like that. So our financial stability is a bit rocky for the whole year ahead i do have to say there are of course other good things <laughs> you know i do think palace athena coming up behind um and being so close to this lot here is this visionary ability to see a way forward um i do think that you know the north node in cancer we're going to be pulled in towards our family of course we are because we're all in quarantine or in lockdown if you're being sensible venus rules taurus and for the year ahead she is right at the midpoint of taurus a tipping point always a tipping point and and she is in an inconjunct aspect to Juno, the sacred marriage. So it's very much about our important relationships, this Aries ingress to my mind. Um ch -ch -ch. I think that's all I want to say for the Aries ingress chart. Happy birthday to Aries. It's coming very early, 9.50 p.m. or 9.42 p.m. the ingress um, on Thursday the 19th, so tonight. Um, tomorrow we have that exact Jupiter-Mars conjunction. And I think, you know, we could, it's going to be exact to the conjunction. Um, at 5.34 a.m. on the 20th. So I'm recording this at 5.27 p.m. on the 19th. So about 12 hours time, and I'm talking mountain time. So use world time buddy or something for, um, but seven hours ahead of my time for UK. For So we're looking, this, this Mars conjunct Jupiter will be at, 12.34 p.m. in the UK tomorrow, um, on Friday the 20th. I think we might see a rash, a real big uptick in the numbers um, from this. And um, and if you remember, it's 
the 22 degree mark is where Saturn and Pluto were on January the 12th. And most astrologers um, consider this virus to be a Saturn Pluto event because that's really about the time it really started kicking off. I still think the square to Eris is, is making this so global so fast as well because she is a real apple thrower and um and her throwing the apple in really caused the uh, fall of troy um <laughs> so um so yeah so anyway thank you for listening um i hope you enjoyed this one if you do please subscribe to my youtube channel leave me a like um or uh, hit that little bell to get notified of any other uploads and um, consider becoming a member of Cosmic L community for just five dollars a month just a cup of coffee you're in this nice community you get lots of these videos and um, any other updates from me and since I'm on lockdown I'm going to be doing an awful lot more because I can't even leave the house so. <laughs> all right then and that's because I flew back from Spain and uh, Man mandatory lockdown so i haven't left the house this is my third day at all because we're taking it very seriously as you should too much love to you all